Hello, everybody. How's it going? Um, today, we're going to do a little tiny mail haul. Um, and as you can see, over this shoulder, Zoe's head keeps getting lower and lower. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you do that? Well, I wouldn't have done if you didn't point me out. Everyone misses you. Hey, Dad. Yeah. I think you should start over because you didn't give us a warning in the first place. And that's rude and inconsiderate. <laughs> we were talking and you just started recording. Were you, though? Yes, we were talking. You were talking about saran wrap. Well, we were talking about other stuff, too. No, that was it. That was all you were talking about. Okay. Well, just so you guys know, I'm doing a video now. Mm -hmm. I'm being considerate. <clears throat> so, let's open... Let's open this book first. I told you it was a book. I'm a horrible person. Okay, let's see what this is. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> so this is a Matt Helm, Donald Hamilton book, The Betrayers. Um, Donald Hamilton wrote that book I really liked called uh, Nightwalker, I think is what it was called. Um, I will say I'm a little bummed out because this is not the cover that was on the book that I ordered. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no is right. And there he is, looking like a boss. Ah, the series by Donald Hamilton is the top-ranking American secret agent fair, according to Book Week. Let's see. <clears throat> Far out in the Pacific, among the sunny islands of Hawaii, a dark, venomous plot was being engineered by one of our own agents, an angel-faced man called the Monk, who had a special fondness for high explosives. His target was an American troop ship with 3,000 U.S. soldiers scheduled to blow sky high. Unless Matt Helm could stop him. But first, Helm had to trust the beautiful stranger who claimed to be his sister-in-law. The Betrayers. <clears throat> dun, 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 dun. Um, devastated is not the word. Um, filled with murderous rage is the correct one. Can you tell? Do I have a a somber cast to my voice? Yeah. I didn't mean to. This one is in one of those awesome envelopes that doesn't open at all. Let's see here. Uh... See, the cool thing about living in a trailer is that I'm shooting this from the living room, but I just reached over into the kitchen to grab a knife. Um, and in a couple minutes, without moving, I could probably go to the bathroom in the bathroom. Without moving? Without, yes. That wouldn't have been much of a trick if I just got up and went to the bathroom, huh? Um... I don't think I opened the right end. Let's try this again. Don't wait too long. Oh my god. <sighs> Taking a butter knife to a gun show. 
Wow. This guy knows how to pack a book. That's what I'm talking about. Now, this is cool because, what the fuck is, Jesus Christ, oh my god, I could smell the old paper through the plastic bag, Ugh. hang on, hang on, okay, the reason why this is cool, that this is like this, is because this is the only printing this book's ever gotten. So, Masquerade into Madness by Russ Messervy. Um, I got this from a cool little online shop called Books from the Crypt. Um, it is in Maryland, but um, it is a virtual store came with a little bookmark. Look at that. Okay. <clears throat> but, in order to read the back of the book, I have to remove said bookmark and read it from here. Okay. Um, this isn't the most exciting cover I've ever seen. It's a guy sitting in a chair, smoking a cigarette, looking annoyed while two women look at him judgingly. It says, they were linked in a bargain that meant death to one of them. Which one? Okay. I can't read through the tape. All right, so here we go. <clears throat> Everything about her looked frail and dead except for the eyes. The eyes that glowed with ancient blue wisdom. I looked into them and my beautiful act shriveled. Somewhere in back of me, Jardine said quickly, or quietly, sorry, Chad, for the sake of your mother, please... Make this easy on her. Just shut up, I said over my shoulder. I'll say hello to my mother in my own way. I turned back to the face on the pillows and caught a strange hinting challenge. It was like a kick in the stomach. She knew I was not her son, but a million-dollar phony. And she wanted me to go on with the role. I still don't really understand what this is about. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, I'm pretty excited about this one. Whew. Boy, that... Uh, rotting paper smell it is very nice but I kind of feel like I understand this character a little I sometimes say over my shoulder just shut up <laughs> yeah <laughs> how does that go swimmingly <clears throat> so anyway so um one awesome find and one kind of disappointment. I'm sure the book's good, um, but I'm kind of bummed. But that's okay. Um, even though the picture said owner's image, <clears throat> which obviously it wasn't. Um, but anyway, so um, if you have a bunch of books just sitting around that you don't want and you think I'll like them, um, I'll put my P.O. box down in the description and you can send us stuff um just think of us as a thrift store a library or a trash can okay so bye say bye 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 shay no okay